Well, hi there. I'm just checking it's on record. Um, I have to do this with the film, with the movie uh, projector because my iPad is stuck on an internal page on YouTube, so I can't use it. <clears throat> so I guess I'm going to get used to using the camera. Anyways, I've got two questions for um, Topics Tuesday. And uh, actually, I've got four. One person gave me three, which is really great. So uh, Kimmy asks what my comfort foods are. And um, I don't really have comfort foods. And she also asked if I remembered some before my eating disorder. And I don't really ever remember having comfort foods. And that is very strange because everybody has comfort foods, but I don't remember ever having a comfort food. Um, I know comfort foods are important. They're, they keep, they take you home, they keep you comfy, they keep you warm and, and feeling good. But I just don't remember ever having comfort foods. I actually like the, um, the Boost and the Ensure. They make me feel safe. So I guess they're my comfort foods. They make me feel like I have control over Ed. So I guess they're my comfort foods. But um, I don't really feel like I have comfort foods in the way most people describe comfort foods. Um, and that's a sad fact. It's a sad fact of my anorexia. And I don't remember having them before. I can't, I can't place a comfort food. Now, um, Justin Yoss asks about sexual orientation. And that's an interesting topic. I don't know, Justin, if you saw my uh, video where I discussed my ex being in the hospital and my ex being a she. She's in the hospital, but I am a lesbian, and um, I believe that sexual orientation is um, genetic, because who would pick a life where you get picked on, abused, tossed around, um, have governments after you, and everything else? In Canada, it's easier than it is in the United States. We have the right to marry. Uh, they will hold a hearing um, on abuse if they see it. They're, they're much more friendlier to um, the gay community than they are in the United States. So I, I feel very lucky to be Canadian. Um, but. I believe sexual orientation is is definitely um, genetic, and uh, I believe we should be open to all people, and that we should accept all people the way they are, because we are all good human beings. God gave us all this planet. He brought us all here, regardless of sexual orientation. And he accepted all of us. So that that is that question. Justin also asks, um, what inspired me to do my channel? And what inspired me was that there were channels on um, uh, bulimia, and there were channels on anorexia, but they were all by young people. And I thought, I really want to see a channel by someone who's been through the gamut, who's been through years and years of this. And I want to see one by someone who's got a disability like me. And hey, why don't I start that channel? Because I'm that person. So I did. I started that channel. And I felt really good about starting that channel. It was just that the channel didn't exist and I felt like I should start the channel. So I did. So that was why I started my channel. 
And finally, Justin asks, my thoughts about different religions, and I am very open. I believe that all religions deserve the same and equal treatment. I am, my family is Jewish, and last Easter I converted to Catholicism. I have not told my mother she is too demented to understand she would just get angry. I have told my brother, and he is, he is happy that I found a religion that I feel good in. Um, but I believe all religions deserve the same and equal treatment. We are all human beings, and we all have the right to live freely and openly in our religions and our faiths. And that is Topics Tuesday. Thank you for the great topics. Kimmy and Justin, thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye.